Hello, we have already seen that for a non-zero number a and a natural number n, we represent a multiplied with itself n times as a raised to n in the index form. We have also seen basic rules of indices, which are a raised to n into a raised to m is equal to a raised to m plus n. a raised to n into b raised to n is equal to a into b raised to n. a raised to n divided by b raised to n is equal to a divided by b whole raised to n. a raised to m whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m into n and a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. Remember that we have also defined a raised to 0 is equal to 1 and a raised to minus n is equal to 1 upon a raised to n where n is a natural number. Let us see few uses of these laws of indices. Suppose you are given two numbers 32 raised to 13 and 16 raised to 16. Remember that these two are really very very big numbers, but they look compact by the use of index form. Can you tell which of these two numbers is greater? Observe that it is not possible to compare these numbers directly. In contrast to the direct comparison of numbers in usual decimal form. But in this case, it is not easy to convert the number 32 raised to 13 and the another one 16 raised to 16 in decimal form. Ok, so how to compare them? Let us first try something simpler. Can you compare the numbers 16 raised to 13 and 16 raised to 16? In this case, simply recalling the definition of the index form is enough. We know that 16 raised to 13 is equal to 16 into 16 into 16 written 13 times, that is multiplication of 16 with itself 13 times. And 16 raised to 16 is equal to multiplication of 16 16 times. Now this directly tells us that 16 raised to 16 is greater than 16 raised to 13 as it involves more number of 16s in multiplication than in 16 raised to 13. Generalizing this, we can say that among a raised to m and a raised to n, a raised to m will be greater than a raised to n if m is greater than n. Now returning back to our original problem of comparing 32 raised to 13 and 16 raised to 16, if we can convert both of the numbers to the index form with same base, it will be simpler to compare them. Observe that 32 and 16 both are powers of 2 and can be written as 32 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 multiplied with itself 5 times hence equals 2 raised to 5 and 16 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 multiplied with itself 4 times hence equals 2 raised to 4. So we can write 32 raised to 13 is equal to 2 raised to 5 raised to 13 and 16 raised to 16 as 
2 raised to 4 raised to 16. Now, using the rule a raised to m whole raised to n is equal to a raised to m into n, we get 32 raised to 13 is equal to 2 raised to 5 raised to 13, which is 2 raised to 5 into 13 or 2 raised to 65. And similarly, 16 raised to 16 is equal to 2 raised to 4 raised to 16, which is 2 raised to 4 into 16, which is 2 raised to 64. Now, since 65 is greater than 64, 2 raised to 65 is greater than 2 raised to 64. And hence, 32 raised to 13 is greater than 16 raised to 16. Done. So, remember that to compare two numbers written in index form, we can try to write them with same base and comparing their indices will give us the answer. That is, a raised to m is greater than a raised to n if m is greater than n. Let us see another technique to compare numbers in index form. Suppose we are given the numbers 7 raised to 26 and 9 raised to 26. Which of these two numbers is greater? Now, we cannot apply the earlier technique since the bases are not same. But in this situation, we can make use of 7 being less than 9. As 7 is less than 9, 7 into 7 is less than 9 into 9. That is, 7 raised to 2 is less than 9 raised to 2. Now, since 7 raised to 26 is the number obtained by multiplying 7 with itself 26 times and 9 raised to 26 is obtained by multiplying 9 with itself 26 times, we can say that 7 raised to 26 is less than 9 raised to 26 as the number to multiply on left hand side that is 7 is less than the number to multiply on right hand side that is 9. So, we can say that a raised to n is less than b raised to n for positive numbers a and b if a is less than b and a natural number n. Now, can you try to compare and decide which number is greater among 2 raised to 6 raised to 2 and 4 raised to 10? Can you try to solve a challenge if 9 raised to 2n minus 1 is equal to 27 raised to n plus 2, find the value of n.